losing. Enemy taking C. Lost C. So hello YouTube, this is Little Black is Pro, and this is kind of an update video for me to tell you guys how to camp riot more effectively. Because you know this is gameplay, I actually do get a paladin. Another one I didn't. I went on a pretty good gun streak, but still didn't get a paladin. So anyway, guys, you'll see I have a. I have the diamond camo on my, on my HBR, and the diamond camo, it looks okay. I'm just using it just for this gameplay to see kind of how it works, like how, how it looks, I mean. But, you know, I, I'm starting to think I like the gold better, so I might go back to gold. Anyway, but I am using the, the HBR Average Joe variant, and the Average Joe variant, what it does is it increases damage by one point, and increases range by one point, and... Those two things kind of complement each other, make your gun more powerful overall. So th I like that. And then all you have to give up is two handling, and this this gun already has the best handling in the class. So I'm not I'm not too worried about that. So overall, I would say this is a very good variant, and you probably want to use it. Just give it a try. And this map you definitely want to use an assault rifle, even though I'm kind of corner camping. I'm also getting kills off of the building out, out here, so you want to use an assault rifle and. In this game, I've noticed there are very few good assault rifles. Like the AK-12 is okay, but it just, uh, it's just—it's underpowered in many in in ways. I mean, it's underpowered, and then the bow—it's overpowered still because apparently, if you put grip on it, it basically counters what the nerf did to it. So, yeah, it's, it's just not. Yeah, it's just like it hasn't been nerfed at all. We put the, the grip on the bow. So I mean, I guess you could use that, but then you're, the other guns, the other choices that you're left with, other than this, other than the H bar, the AK, and the bow, the ARX 160, the IMR, which the IMR is good, but the fact that it's a burst weapon kind of limits its use because a lot of people don't like burst weapons, and then you have the ARX, and a lot of people don't like burst weapons either, and the ARX is actually is pretty weak, so apparently, apparently the the three hit kill range for that gun is like less than shotgun range which is pretty pathetic if you ask me and then in the last one you got the mk-14 now the mk-14 is not a great gun by any means it's a three hit kill at ranges where automatic assault rifles are three hit kills so it, it, it's it's not a great gun but by, by any means because that's why you see very many very few people actually use it because this game is not really meant for marks and rifle type weapons anyway so and then also, I've also noticed how the other weapon classes are kind of, kind of useless, you know? Like submachine guns? Okay, there was a few good ones, I'll admit, like the KF-5. Overpowered in some cases, and then, then you got the ASM-1, which is good for corner camping. But other than that, the SMGs are really aren't that good in this game. And then, let's see what else we got. Okay, the sniper rifles, I mean, they're overpowered. They're too easy to quick scope, but generally... This game isn't a sniping game, so you don't you don't run into that too often unless you play certain game modes like momentum. I think that's where all the feeders go to. And then and then we got shotguns. There's only three shotguns, thank God. But yeah, the shotguns aren't aren't great in this game either. I mean, the range really kind of screws them over. And not not only that, it's just that the range of where people can jump in this game and how fast they can move and how far they can get away from your out of your range just makes, makes this shotgun class very ineffective overall and next we got, we got the heavy weapon class and the LMGs in this game are just bad they're, they're too weak for a sledgehammer so probably should give them a buff not only that but well the laser gun is so probably only the M1 is probably the only usable one because the EMP3 is pretty weak the M1, M1 is overpowered no doubt about that. I mean, ever since that patch, that thing's been way OP. And then, let's see what else. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's about it, really. And the specials aren't too useful. I mean, the grenade launcher special is not that good. Crossbow is not that good. The shield can be head glitched, but head glitching doesn't always work out that well in this game. And as you can see, guys, I did get, I just got my warbird there. Now, I'm kind of camping that they're, they're spawn, really. Because look, they get A. Look, they're. they're they're spawning at A, and they spawn back there, and they only have a few options to come over here, like, like, since I'm on top of this building, I can see them in my line of sight when, uh, right there, look, I just see them in my line of sight, and, 
yeah, and I just take them out as I see them, so. Yeah, so although I'm not getting 125 points per kill, I do go on a pretty good streak here. And I forgot what kills me. I think, yeah, I get killed by something stupid because I was going for a, a DNA originally, but I get killed by something dumb, like. Yeah, I, I, I forgot exactly. I think it was a KF5, actually. And then I almost died there, and I'm trying I'm trying not to die. Like, I just try to sit behind this uh, air conditioning thing. But I did get my pounding, guys. So, if you do camp, if you camp up there, because that's a really good side. I mean, there's, there's a lot of air conditioning units you use as head glitches. You can move from corner to corner. You can kill people as they spawn over by A. So, that is really about... That is really how you camp this map, at least for now. I haven't found a, a better, I haven't found a better spot. Like, like if maybe if you find a spot like where this guy's camping at, maybe maybe that will work. But I haven't been able to find a good spot like that. It doesn't look, yeah, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to find like a truly good camping spot like I did in like, in like Ascend or, or on BioLab. Like I don't think I'm gonna find one of those spots, but maybe, maybe we'll find a, a similar spot. So guys, the, H the HBR is a pretty overlooked gun in this game, but as you can see, guys, by all the gameplays I've been getting, it is really good. It is, I would say, it's the best assault rifle in this game, especially after the battle was nerfed. But the battle is still annoying to be killed by, just because it feels OP. But I, I've, ne I never really liked it, even pre-patched. I never really liked it. But the HBR, it, it functions really well. It acts like an AK. It feels like an AK. It does the damage of an AK. So overall, this is a really good gun overall. See, I see I'm trying to take out this guy and then I get instant killed by a KF5. You see Yeah. That gun the first during the first five rounds it acts more like an assault rifle. And that first five round extra damage thing is really annoying. So Tamara, why did you get what like why do you have to do that? Like it seems like every other gun in this game has some weird feature on it that make, makes it more annoying. Okay, I just I just remember something. About the Paladin, you should be, whenever you get the Paladin, just be careful about the 105mm whenever you fire that out, because the blast radius is huge. Like, I've gotten myself killed several times by using it. Like, even though I seem well inside the blast radius, and I'm using Flash Jacket, and I'm maybe I'm inside a building, I can still get killed by the, the, the cannon, if I'm even remotely close to, my, even if I fire the thing remotely close to my location, which is really annoying. I mean... I don't see why, like, Flash Jacket shouldn't protect you against your own explosives. I think it should. But apparently the developers don't think so. Yeah, so right here, I think I'm having a tr hard time trying to see them because some sometimes it can be hard to see people. And why that, that 105mm didn't kill anyone, I don't know. Need to get the sky off, eh? And you know, yeah, and so I just kind of camp the rooftop the rest of the game, I believe. So I don't take any more deaths this game, so camping the rooftop is probably the best strategy for this map. Like, see, everyone's just coming, everyone's coming to right there. I see that guy was trying to shoot me, but I did the smart thing and I went prone. And that's what you want to do. If someone starts shooting at you first, you want to you want to get a, and try to avoid their gunfire. Because most of the time, like most people are using assault rifles in this game, most of the time they'll kill you before you can get another shot off on them. So th it becomes smart just to kind of hang back a little bit and yeah, and just play more conservatively. That because that's what's gonna get your kill streaks in this game. Rushing is gonna get you killed. So keep that in mind whenever whenever you play Advanced Warfare or any Call of Duty for that matter. And this guy was just. I don't even know what that guy was doing, just kind of boosting in the corner. So, by the way guys, on this side, well, the side I'm on right now, the roof, it, it's much, it's harder to camp on just because there's less, there's less cover, it seems, and yeah, it, it just seems like there's less cover and there's more ways to sneak on, because it seems like the, the C, the, the C spawn has more areas you can hide and more areas where you can uh, get into, like, like get, get onto this roof. Then there's the other area because the basketball court thing, like that adds a little bit of elevation, which uh, which you can use to get on top of the roof. But on a spawn, you don't really have that. You can you have a clear shot uh, at a you you have a clear overview of the spawn point. So that's why it's not as big of a problem. So 
So if you have a choice between camping C flag side or A flag side of the roof, go for A. I, I had more successful games on that side than the other side, so... I mean, that'll probably be the, your your experience too. So look, they're, they're taking A, so that's that's the spawn I want them to be in. I want, I want them to be in that spawn over there. See, look, I call my warbird here, and then I get my paladin. I believe I get my paladin, I can't even call it in. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay because, you know, it was hard to get to get a, a high streak on this map. And, like, I mean, given that I don't get 125 points for each kill, it was really hard to get that. So, you guys, hopefully, hopefully Sledgehammer patches the amount of points you get per kill. And, hope you enjoyed the gameplay. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And, thanks for watching. This has been World of War. And, see you guys later.